Hey golfers, I'm Michael Geiger with Second Swing. I'm sitting down with Larry Bobka again. Larry, today we're talking wedge finishes. You've got three different finishes in your hand. You've got rust, chrome, and dark finish. Yep. How would you explain, just from a view from 10,000 feet, uh, kind of the three different finishes to a, an average golfer? Well, you know, most of the wedges that, that we sell here at Second Swing and most of the manufacturers, you know, this is what Titles calls Tour Chrome, okay? Uh, it's not shiny chrome that you might see on irons. Part of the reason was shiny chrome. Uh, there's nothing worse than on a, on a day in the morning and you put this wedge down and the, <laughs> yep. and the sun hits it and all of a sudden it blinds you. So that's <laughs> where the, you know, the tour chrome or the satin chrome look came from. Okay. Yep. So then we've got other finishes where this is black so it's kind of like, hey, it's going to already look dark. Um, some players like to look, it looks a little different size-wise. Mm -hmm. The darker finish tends to look a little bit smaller. Some people like a little smaller profile, but it's still, you know, it's got a finish on it. Uh, and then I've got a Cleveland wedge that we sell here that is actually, these are, these are unchromed, so they're just, they're just raw, uh, 8620 carbon steel. And as you can tell, it, it's already... It's already rusting, it's rusting just, yep. just sitting here at second swing. Um, so let's kind of go through it. Sure. Um, that wedge right there, because it's going to be the most durable. The chrome. The tour chrome. Yep. Okay. It's going to show the least. You know, we, hey, we go in the bunkers, we go in the grass, mm -hmm. you're going to get sand. This is, gonna, this is a great finish for durability. Okay. Okay. It's got a nice look. It presents really well. It, it's a really good finish. You have a lot of players. You have players on tour that play tour chrome. You have some that play black, and you have some that play raw. You know, one of the big questions that comes up is, hey, do these perform differently? Yep. Okay. Before 2010, I, I'm going to say yes. And here's the reason. Because when this gets finished, this goes through a process where the face gets the face gets polished. You know the grooves get milled in. The face gets polished. There's a little bit of wheel, so it kind of breaks the edges a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, does it does it hurt the performance of the wedge? Absolutely not. But it's just the way the fin it, it is. It happens on the black ones also because if you didn't do that, it would look really bad, and you'd see you'd see grind marks from the belts, and right. it wouldn't have a great look. Okay. So a raw wedge misses that, misses that step. So it's, you know, it's gonna possibly have a little bit more edge on the groove. But before the rule change in 2010, when we had very sharp, big- the Square grooves. Square yeah. grooves, or box grooves mm -hmm. as I like to call them, you could really leave that edge really sharp. Well, you can't, leave that edge that sharp anymore. The okay. USGA says it can't. You know, having worked the Titleist, every Vokey wedge gets checked 100% before it ever leaves the door going to a tour player. I will guarantee that happens at Cleveland and Callaway and TaylorMade also. Okay, that's one thing you don't want to have a player because the problem is if you and I are playing and practice round in a tournament, my wedge is spinning way more than yours, you can go to a rules official and say, uh, hey, you think you might want to check Larry's wedges? Yeah. Okay, and it has happened. Not mine personally. Of course, of course. So, but, so there's kind of this misconception that, you know, hey, you're, you're, gonna, get, you're gonna get more spin. I mm -hmm. mean, we've done tests here. We don't see any significant difference. Okay. okay. Why then do a lot of players on tour play raw wedges? Well, it's because players change their wedges all the time, all right? And it's a lot easier out on tour that if, that if say, Aaron Dill from Titleist, who's the Vokey wedge rep out there, mm -hmm. is working on a wedge for somebody and grinding it, and he's going to give it to a player, and the player's going to go, oh, that looks perfect. Well. Hey, give it back to me. I'm going to go take it back and send it out for Chrome, and you'll get it in two weeks. Right. Player's going to look at him and go, Are you crazy? No yeah. way. Yeah, <laughs> you're crazy. I need this wedge now. I need this wedge today. It's perfect. So it, it's more out of convenience where you see a lot of raw wedges. Okay. And, and it's also, too, if you, if you think 
this wedge has an advantage over this wedge, well then play this one. Right. Okay. Um, I play raw wedges. But I'm also the kind of guy that I've ground my own golf clubs and you know what, when I get them looking the way the perfect are, I don't care. In fact, I like, I like them to look, you know, we did a what's in the bag. I, yeah. li I like my stuff to look kind of old and tired because then people look and go, oh, well, he looks old and tired. His clubs look old and tired. Helps you negotiate on the first tee. Yeah, I can't, he, he probably can't play very well anymore. Mm, okay. So, you know, so it's really from, from our standpoint, you know, if, if you're looking about, one, I would go off personal preference. Yep. Okay. If, if I like to look at this, play it. If you like to look at raw, play it. Mm -hmm. If you like to look at black, play it. You know, that to me is the first thing because that exudes confidence. The second thing is, you know, as we always talk about, you gotta have the right bounce, you gotta have the right loft, you gotta get fit for your wedges. But is, is one of them going to outperform the other one? No. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, and in fact, raw wedges tend to wear out a little bit faster because the finish actually helps protect these. Right. You know, Ping has done a lot, spent a lot of time on their finish, and I'm going to blank on what they call their finish, but it is, you know, they've spent a lot of time trying to find one that repels water, that, yep. that stays on the face long, that helps maintain the grooves. So they put time and effort into it. Titleist has put it in, Callaway does TaylorMade. You know, you've got now, you've got the raw face wedges from TaylorMade, you yep. know, that they're, that three quarters of wedges finished and they leave the face raw feeling like it, is it going to outperform something else? Maybe they're testing his show a little bit, but at the end of the day, you got to keep your wedges fresh. Right. Okay. And because of the groove ruling, they, there is not as much sharpness as there once was. They don't last as long as they once was. Mm -hmm. If you're playing and practicing a lot, you better change your wedges once a year. Okay. If you're playing and practicing at a high level, you know, college player, top amateur player, I would be changing that higher lofted wedge maybe every six, three to six months. You know, you're not gonna hit as many you know, maybe with your gap wedge or your 56 or your 54, you can wait a little bit, but you definitely want maximum spin off your for sure off your highest lofted wedge. And if you're playing and practicing a lot, especially going in, think about it this way: if you're going into a bunker and you're doing practice a lot, you're sandblasting your face you're ripping it, yep. every time you hit it. And if you're doing that, if you're sandblasting your face, you're taking every time you hit in the sand. You're taking a little bit of edge off that groove, a mm -hmm. little bit of edge, a little bit of edge, a little bit of edge, and all of a sudden you get to the point where a month later you go hit a, a shot from a tight line, you're expecting it to spin, and it doesn't spin anymore. Interesting. Time to come see a time to come see a fitter at Second Swing. Absolutely. So let's just say I'm a golfer who you know plays maybe once or twice a month. Would you recommend the chrome finish, knowing it's a bit more durable? It lasts. Maybe I change my wedge every couple of years. Will the chrome finish kind of extend the life? Uh, the chrome finish will extend the life. It won't show as much. You know, if you take that in a bunker, the sand will, you know, it'll, it'll, look, like, it'll look like a big starburst when you hit it because, mm -hmm. you know, it really shows the scratches and it'll show the metal underneath. You know, this is, this is very pretty, but it's the least durable finish. Okay. Okay, the darker finishes are going to be the least durable. So if you want to get something have value, keep it for two or three years because you don't play that much golf, I would definitely look at the Tour Chrome or the Tour Satins from all the manufacturers. Perfect. Okay? Uh, and again, just, you know, depending, uh, you know, we have some raw wedges here, um, but raw wedges are more popular on, on Tour, more out of convenience than anything else. You know, and just the thought, and like I said, you know, golf is, hey, if you think it, if you think it is. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, Larry, thanks again for all the, for the treasure trove of information. If you want to find the exact wedge finish that's perfect for your game, we encourage you to stop by Second Swing or call us. And they are expert fitters. We'll get you dialed in with the perfect finish for your game. Larry, thanks for sitting down. Thanks for watching.